Hi, this is a quick video uh, just about the next Netflix proxy warning that people might be seeing. Now, it might have been like um, a lot of people that, who use Netflix that you don't actually use the version that you're supposed to do. So, I'm in the UK, I'm supposed to use the UK version of Netflix. I don't, I use a VPN um, to connect to the American version of Netflix, which is way, way, way better. And the British Netflix isn't bad. But I can only imagine that some of the other variants are um, have even less stuff than the British one on. And because you kind of pay the same subscription, I guess, why not use the best service you can? Um, which worked fine for uh, a long time. But um, just recently, Netflix have clamped down big style on VPN and proxy servers. And you might get this every time you use your run blocker, um, smart dns vpn encrypted proxy <clears throat> whatever sort of variant you're using you're probably now getting this address this uh, message and i just want to tell you why um netflix has done something that no other of the media companies have ever really tried there was one tv company tried it a long time ago in the uk and it worked but i don't know why they didn't carry on with it anyway there might be a reason but what, what Netflix is doing, it's actually, instead of just looking at where the um, IP address is from, which it uses for region locking to lock me down to UK, uh, an American user will lock to the US Netflix, Japan, the Japanese one, et cetera, et cetera. Um, what they're doing is looking at the classification of the IP address you connect to, connect with, uh, as well as um, classifications by geography. An IP address is either classified as a residential or a commercial IP address. Now, the problem is every single VPN, or 99.9% .9 of them, are classified as commercial. And what Netflix has done is block access from all commercial addresses. Now, there'll be some fallback on this. that you they're, they're really effectively blocking people from accessing from work or companies or any sort of corporate business type thing. Because the IP address will be the... The proxy that they're using the commercial one so they'll block that but i guess they don't really mind about that all they're allowing through is residential ip addresses <clears throat> hence overnight every single thing got blocked practically uh now there is hope um you can get these residential ip addresses that are a bit of a pain and they're quite expensive uh and normally they're just allocated by um isps but um in this video I will now show you one that um, isn't blocked it's called let me just show you now it's identity cloaker okay uh, it's a um, it's basically an encrypted proxy it's like a VPN uh, identity cloaker was blocked just like all the others um, until they integrated some code into their software and some residential VPN servers. Now, I don't know how they got hold of them. They're really like gold dust. But um, they seem to, and they work. I'll give you a quick des demonstration here. Uh, we'll click down to a US server here, and I'm just going to connect. Um, I blur all these out. It's kind of paranoid world, you know. Um, Netflix is out to get us. Uh, and I, I'm in the UK, and I'm just going to click on a US server. Sorry, clicked on the wrong one. Uh, right, okay, so I've got a, a US server there now. Um, so all my data is going through there. I'll just restart my browser. So, <clears throat> so now it thinks I'm in the US. Now, um, something special happens when I go to um, Netflix. It's, in this instance, IdentiCloaker is going to te detect the... Um, connection to Netflix and reroute me through a residential server okay which means it'll work now I don't know if you can see this this is actually the US version uh, and you can see lost lost is only on the US Netflix as far as I know it's certainly not on the UK one which is the one I should be getting so I'm on there now let me just click and stream I'm not gonna let this stream for long because you get done for copyright which is not my intention and that just show you here that we don't get the proxy error warning. There we go. Right. And I'm just going to stop it there. There's lost streaming. And the reason it's streaming, because through Netflix, I am actually going through a residential IP address in the US. So it works fine. Okay. Um, I think Identical was the first to integrate 
um, these into their uh, their network infrastructure, uh, which is the reason I think it's one of the only ones that will work. So recommended identity cloaker. There'll probably be some others along at some point that do the same thing. Um, and thank you for watching. Okay.